Hi friends, Marin with Into Mobile. Today we're going to look at the Google Earth app that was just released today that's specifically optimized for Android Honeycomb tablets. We have a zoom here, so let's fire it up. As you can see, you have your pinch to zoom options, which are pretty neat and responsive. This is Honeycomb, so you have your action bar up here. You can search, notice the voice search. You can orient via compass. This will zoom you in to where you are. You can set up more layers now. New to this is 3D buildings, which is actually pretty cool, and we'll take a look at that in a minute, as well as uh, Panoramio photos, which integrates really nicely with this, and you have your standard settings here. So let's go ahead and check it out. We're in San Francisco. Watch how it quickly flies into where we are. That's roughly where I am, but you can see the roads overlaid. You can see all the businesses overlaid too. You can pinch to zoom or, you know, use two fingers to zoom. You can notice the 3D buildings there. Notice the, the effect there, but if you really want to make the most of it, there you go. You can also, you can also pan down. So that gives you a better understanding of how these buildings look, even if they're not super highly textured. Navigation is pretty good from a, everything you'd expect from a tablet. You have multi-touch, you have swiping gestures, and then if you click on these, you get little pop-ups. These are actually photos that people have taken and have uploaded. But Little neighborhood's nice, but it's nothing too crazy. Let's check out the Statue of Liberty across country. Notice how it zooms quickly and gets you there. Uh, very nice effect. And the statue is also in 3D. You can also see the Manhattan skyline. All of these are photos that people have taken of it and have uploaded and it's a very it's a very good way to give you additional context to it. We'll do one more. Let's go to the leaning tower. Well, I guess that wasn't specific enough. Let's go to Leaning Tower of Pisa. There you go. And so, hops over across the pond. It's rendering on the fly too. Dual core tablet, so it doesn't take too long. Here you can see this beauty. Notice the different ways to interact with it. Let's pan up. It's in 3D as well. You can even see the shadow, which is pretty cool to me. And then this also has photos. As well as businesses, nearby businesses that pop up here, which makes, which makes sense because you have the screen space to do it. So great. That's a quick look at Google Earth for Honeycomb. It's free and it's available today. Thanks for watching.